Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the physical frame that's going to be supporting the electronics in the weather balloon project. Now right here I've got a battery that I bought for the fireworks project. It's not a very strong battery, it's 3800 milliamp hours, but it came with this frame that supports the battery on the bottom here as well as the Pi on the top. It's got four holes here where the Pi mounts to it. We've got a slot for the SIM card and a hole for the uh, heat sink on the bottom. Now, since my project uses both a Raspberry Pi and two Adrenos, this isn't going to work. I need a frame like this that will support a Raspberry and two Adrenos, and there's nothing that I could find that would do that. So I made my own. I'm going to start off by showing you a little snippet of the design process and how it got created. And then later in this video, I'll give you a, a full overview of the entire frame and everything that's going to be going up on the balloon. So for now, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you the design process. All right, so this is the finished product. I'm not going to go into detail on the whole design process. It's a long process, pretty boring. You probably don't want to see that. If you do, let me know in the comments below and I will make a special video just for you showing exactly how I did this. But this is the overview. It all started with a sketch here. I can go over here and take a look at the sketch. There's a lot going on here. I'm not getting into details, but you start with the sketch. You draw it out, you get your dimensions right. You can find the dimensions over here on the Raspberry Pi website or just do a Google search for Raspberry Pi dimensions. And what we're interested in are the screw holes here. And we can see how far apart those are. So these two on the sides are 58 millimeters and these two on the other end are 49 millimeters apart. So we draw our sketch to those specifications. Um, also did the same thing for Adreno, and I was able to overlap the two sets of holes. So I believe it's this set right here. There. So the ones on the corners are for support, and these right here are going to be used for mounting the Raspberry Pi. The second set of holes right here, those are the ones to mount an Adreno. The dimensions happen to be the same for Adreno uh, Uno and the Adreno Mega. I'm going to be using both of those. They both fit on the same pattern. So that turns out to be very convenient. So when this is done, when I finish the, when I finish the 3D design process here, um, you can export it as, um, an STL file and then I can go over here to 3dhubs.com there's a lot of 3d printing services out there this is the one that I found that was the most user-friendly and I was able to 3d print my parts so you start by selecting your file it's this one right here now, when you do this for the first time, it defaults to millimeters. Make sure you change the units to centimeters. There, now it says it'll work. We'll choose our material. PLA was the cheapest, just standard PLA. I did choose an infill of 100%. There we go. Comes out to 1485 a piece. I wanted three of them. There we go. $35.37. I was able to order three of these custom designed um, shelves, for lack of a better term, and build the frame. So now I will show you the frame and give you an overview of everything that's going to be going up on the balloon. So this is the almost finished product. We've got our three shelves in here. 
the raspberries on the bottom, Adreno Mega in the middle, and Adreno Uno on the top. Now, you can see here that we already have the Sense Hat installed and cameras attached. Everything's mounted and held together with some standoffs that I found on Amazon. I bought a big box of those. Everything went together quite nicely. One of the holes for the Adreno was a little off, so it didn't quite fit, but um, three screws holding it on seems to be pretty secure, so I'm not too worried about it. Over here, we can see that the Adreno Mega is attached to the Raspberry with USB, as is the Adreno Uno. Now, the Mega is going to have uh, this right here is a altimeter that I bought from SparkFun. The altimeter has a built-in um, temperature sensor, um, air pressure sensor, and will also calculate the altitude from the air pressure. So this one sensor is going to do just about everything that I wanted to do. Up here on the top, we have the tracking system. This is a 144.39 um, megahertz radio transmitter. We've got the antenna mounted over here. And right here is the GPS module, which is also attached to a GPS antenna. The antenna does need to be shortened. It's very long, or the, the cord on the antenna needs to be shortened as it's very long. And I don't need the extra cable if I don't, if I don't need it. So I'll work on shortening that. Um, in the upcoming videos, I will be detailing the altimeter on the Adreno Mega, and I'll also be detailing the tracking system. It's quite complex. I might get into several videos with the tracking system. Now, everything's going to be powered by this battery pack right here. It weighs about 17 ounces. That's quite heavy, but everything together currently weighs about 900 grams, so should be able to keep things within the weight limit. This battery pack has three USB ports, so that'll power my 4K camera as well as the Raspberry Pi. It will output up to five volts at three amps max, so it'll work very well. It's also about 26 thousand milliamp hours so quite an improvement from the battery that I used for the fireworks project also going to be flying with this battery pack this holds six lithium AA batteries and that gets plugged in right over here to the Adreno Uno because the tracking system does require a full 5 volts or more and I can't get that over USB the USB for the UNO is going to be transferring the GPS data down to the Raspberry and I'll have a secondary tracking system with a USB cellular modem. That should be here in the next couple of days. I'm really excited about that modem and I'll be sure to do a special video just for that as well. But that's all I've got for today. Next week I think I'm going to get into the tracking system in detail. It's pretty intense. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I'd love to read your comments below. And you can also check out Thinking of Pi on Patreon now. So I'll put a link to that in the description. But I will talk to you all next week. Thanks.